the wrongdoing they use in government offices to inflict exclusion and other evils against fellow citizens and that is what is generating hate yeah. and it's a situation or an issue we can deal with and that's what Kaparo needs to be dealing you with. You think we can deal with it before 2017? We have to be careful yeah. as a country mm. and uh, I hope those that talk about and try to teach Kenyans to be Kenyans are aware that they might be the biggest obstacles towards us having a clean and a free election mm. or maybe uh, maybe you know because you talk to the president or you have access to him and you insist that he's a reluctant president maybe if you just tell him look crack this whip kick some you know what president uhura have said is a very likable person i just want him to put some energy into his leadership let uhuru uh, walk across the country and he is the president. He should not carry certain luggage with him mm. wherever he's going to talk to Kenyans. Speaking of luggage, people say it's those people around him who just make him look bad. It's those people around him. What, you know? I couldn't have put it better. Let him go out there, talk to Kenyans as Uhuru Kenyatta. A majority of Kenyans have no issues with Uhuru Kenyatta at all. And I'm not the first person to say this, including the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, mm. he has said and said severally that he doesn't see an issue with President Kenyatta. Mm. So I'm not the first one to see this. But we can clearly see where the problem of President Uhuru is coming from. Can he clean this up before seven? It is very possible mm. for him to do it. It is extremely possible and very, very important that he cleans the situation we are seeing before it happens. 